All right, the first thing we're going to take a look at in PowerPoint is how to change the background of a slide. So what we have right here is the basic opening. Anytime you open up Microsoft PowerPoint, this is what you're going to see. And obviously we have a white slide right here in front of us. What you'll notice with this slide is that it also contains two text box, one right here and one right below it right here. Now, when formatting the background, or when formatting the actual slide itself, it's important we stay away from these two boxes because we don't want to edit the boxes, we want to edit the background themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor all the way up here away from those two boxes and I'm going to right click. When I right click, the last option is to format the background and we're going to left click, that's the one we want to choose. Now the options for formatting the background come up. and We're really going to concern ourselves with the first three right here. A solid fill, a gradient fill, and a picture or texture fill. Solid fill, oh, sorry about that. The solid fill is for um, just one singular color. And you pick this color right here in the color bucket. So when solid fill is selected, which the PowerPoint does automatically for you, and you left click on the color wheel, with the color palette, you can choose any color you'd like and that will set the background that color. I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, an orange color and I'd left click that color you want. As you can see, the entire background turns into that color. Now, if I go to new slide, the second slide you'll see is obviously white, so if we left click back here on the first slide, which is orange, I can right click again, format background, and now, as my orange background, I can apply to all. And now you'll notice the second background changed as well. So that is how we add a solid fill to a background in PowerPoint. Now, we're going to very quickly look at gradient. What gradient fill means is taking it from one color, in this case a dark blue, to another color, in this case white. And you notice it doesn't just go from blue to white. It slowly fades in, and that's exactly what a gradient is. Again, you can pick what color, sorry about that again, you can pick what color you want um, for your gradient. I'll just pick that tan color instead of the blue. Now it goes from that tan to blue to white. You can pick the different directions that it'll change in. Um, you can, the different ways that it will, again, go from tan to blue to white. This is something you can play around with by yourself, not something we're going to concern ourselves with today. The third option is the picture or text texture fill. Let's start with the texture fill. The texture fill, depending on how you want to set your background up, is right here under texture, just like color. So if we left click, it'll give us different options that we can fill our background with. Obviously there's that green option, uh, blue, like water in the background, and if we want we can apply that to all, and you'll notice slide 2 now also has that water background, or raindrop background. Let's take a look one more time at the left, I'm sorry, at the first background. What we want to do is add a picture as the background. So what we're going to do now is instead of a tick texture, we want a picture. So we click on File. And once you click on File, what you're telling the computer to do is please find a picture that I already saved to my computer. So if you already have a picture saved, it's going to come up right here in the computer. I am just going to select, where are we at here, Pictures, and I'm going to take a generic picture, but you can select any picture that you saved. And I'm going to take a sample picture. And we'll take this sample picture of a jellyfish. And we're going to left click on the jellyfish, then we're going to left click on insert. And the background now becomes jellyfish, as we can see right here. Again, if you want to, we can apply this to all of them. So I'm going to close this out and to review real quick to change the background of a PowerPoint slide. You need to right click outside of a box and the last option is format background. Once you format the background you have three options which is a solid fill or a solid color which you can choose right here. 
the gradient fill, which takes you from one color to another, in this case from white to blue to tan, and there's different options for that. Or the third option you have to change your background is to add a picture or a texture fill. Texture, the different textures PowerPoint gives you are right here, or if you'd like to set a picture as a background, you save the picture previously, then you click on file, and you select whatever picture you'd like as your background. And I hope that answers any questions or problems you'd have changing the background of a PowerPoint slide.